The Battle of Milordi was one of the key battles of Ivan the Terrible's reign. It was fought near the village of Milordi, 40 miles south of Moscow, in July-August 1572 between the 120,000-strong horde of Devlet i Jurey of Crimea and about 60,000 Russians led by Prince Mikhail Vorotinsky. The Crimean horde was defeated so thoroughly that both the Ottoman Sultan and the Crimean Khan, his vassal, had to give up their ambitious plans of northward expansion into Russia forever. While Tsardom of Russia was involved into the Livonian War, the Crimean Khan hoped to make profit from the weakness of its south borders. In the course of three expeditions, Devlet i Duray devastated South Russia and even sacked and set Moscow on fire. On 26 July 1572 the huge horde of the Khan, equipped with cannons and reinforced by Turkish janissaries, crossed the Oka River near Serpukov, decimated the Russian vanguard of 200 men and advanced towards Moscow in order to pillage it once again. Little did they know, however, that the Russians had had prepared for the new invasion, setting up innovative fortifications just beyond the Oka. The Russian forces, variously estimated at between 60,000 minus 70,000 men, were placed under the supreme command of Prince Mikhail Vorotinsky. Prince Repnin led the left flank, while the right flank was commanded by Prince Odoevsky. On 30 July the armies clashed near the Lopania River without so much as a prior reconnaissance. The fighting continued for several days, reaching its peak on 8 August. The large amount of close-in fighting made the Tatars' famed skill in archery quite useless. The battle was fought principally with sabres and spears. Artillery was also used by the Russians to great effect. The outcome was decided by Prince Kavor Justinin who bypassed the horde with his Gunlier Gorod mobile fortifications and infiltrated into the rear. After the battle, only 20,000 Tatar horsemen returned to the Crimea, while the Khan left his tent and banner on the battlefield and barely managed to escape alive. The battle claimed the lives of his sons and a grandson.